Mr. Dubé, what is the latest number that we have in terms of employees who are not going to be fully vaccinated come October 15th? Uh, yesterday it was 25,000. But all, because when you say adequately vaccinated, that number see, was at 35,000. But what I'm looking at is the one that at least have a first dose versus the one that are didn't have any dose. So when I split this 25,000, I have about 12,000 that have a first dose and 13 that have no dose. Okay. The reason I'm making this difference, as I explained before, is because I know that maybe my timing, that because the one that went for a first dose and they will go in the next few days, they will have a second dose. So their penalty or outside the system would be very short. Because, and that's the reason I'm, I'm telling them today, I'm talking to them when I talk to you, please go as soon as possible to reduce. Because the negative impact on seniority for holidays, on pension plan, there are a lot of negative that maybe people have not considered before saying, well, I'm taking a break. And uh, especially with the other question, I think the, the uh, professional association of nurses we're asking them right now to say, why was that good for the doctors to say, we suspend your permits if you're not vaccinated? Why don't they do the same thing for nurses and all those people that deal with people? Une dernière question. So this is, this, is, this is not only to the union to do their job with their member, contrary to what was said yesterday, but I think it's for the professional orders to do the same thing to their members. Are in, how many are in direct contact with patients? Half them? of that. Half of the, the 12,000 that have on their first dose.